All right, so if you guys didn't know, I really, really love budget tech. I always find myself scouring the internet, trying to find the best cheap tech worth buying. So when I saw that Red Dragon, a company known for making tech products for gamers on a budget, made a microphone costing under $30, I knew I had to review it. So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing it, setting it up, testing it, and telling you guys my thoughts if it's worth buying or not. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing and see just what you get when you buy it. All right, so you'll get the microphone in this nice looking box. Inside you'll find a manual, a pop filter, a microphone stand with a shock mount, and the microphone itself. The actual setup is very, very easy. First, spread out all the free legs of the microphone stand, then run the microphone wire through the shock mount until you're able to snugly fit the microphone in the shock mount. Then screw on the pop filter on the pop filter arm and plug it into your computer. All right, so when I plug the microphone in my PC, my PC didn't recognize it. So the solution I found was that I went to my devices and updated all my audio drivers and that pretty much fixed the problem. If you guys are running into the same problem and that didn't help you, then put it down in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Now the actual microphone itself is made entirely out of plastic except for the pop filter arm and the actual microphone mesh. The plastic feels nice and it has a matte finish. I did find that sometimes the actual microphone gets really unstable because the stand is quite small, but you can easily just pop the microphone on a boom arm and that should fix the problem. All right, so now let's get into the actual microphone test to see how it sounds on a day-to-day -day basis. This is an audio test of the Red Dragon microphone plugged into my computer. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. This is an audio test of the Red Dragon microphone recording my voice whilst I'm typing on the keyboard behind it. All right, so in my opinion, the microphone sounds pretty great for the price. It might be a little bit quiet, but that's just because of my settings on my computer. If I had put it a bit louder, you might have heard a bit more background noise, but the actual microphone would be a lot louder. So in conclusion, the actual microphone itself, I would personally recommend for anyone that's looking for a microphone to just chat to friends via Skype or Discord, or maybe talk to people on certain games, but I would not recommend people use it for YouTube. There's many better microphones you can buy for that price point that will give you a lot better audio for YouTube videos. But for the average user, I still recommend you go ahead and buy it. You get an entire microphone setup for really not a lot of money. So with that said, this does conclude my review of the Red Dragon Cypher microphone. If you guys wanna buy it, I will leave a link down in the description but with that being said this was bubbly and i'm signing out